Hello, my, myself uh, Dr. Praveen here and uh, in this video I will be discussing about obesity. Obesity is a type of malnutrition. Uh, it is seen in the entire world. It is a pandemic. Pandemic means uh, which uh, present prevalent in a significant amount of uh, portion of I mean percentage of people in the population throughout the world. Initially started in uh, developed countries like USA, UK and other countries. However, uh, now it has come uh, to India, some Southeast Asian countries and African countries which are now developing and will soon to get into the uh, list of the developed nations. Uh, obesity is a malnutrition as I told uh, and it is a overnutrition. And uh, obesity, one more thing I want to clear, clarify here itself, it could be nutritional, it is a much more common and it could be some uh, manifestation of some disease like uh, uh, endocrinological uh, diseases. Endocrinology, the endocrinology means, uh, here I would like to tell you that endocrinology is a branch of uh, science which deals with uh, hormone and hormone and disorders. So these are hormonological disorders can also cause uh, obesity. So many of these patients are being uh, routinely seen by endocrinologists. And the causes, among the causes of uh, endocrinological causes of uh, obesity we have Cushing's disease which is uh, uh, disease which causes excess of corticosteroids, steroidal hormone excess and we have uh, diabetes itself. Uh, I would like to hear tell you that uh, diabetes could be the rather than cause of obesity it is the consequence of obesity and uh, some other diseases like uh, chromegaly, say some body parts are uh, enlarged. We can't call it as a obesity but uh, uh, we can say like polycystic ovarian disease they will have some obesity. Once again it is the polycystic ovarian disease is the cause of uh, consequence of the obesity rather than obese, uh, obese people. And uh, even the hypothyroid patient uh, which is quite common which is also called as a second diabetes can also be the cause of uh, uh, obesity and uh, endocrinological causes. Uh, now coming to the, uh, in this video I will mainly discuss about the uh, nutritional cause of obesity. Uh, obesity you can say it is a scenario where a person uh, consumes more, I mean more fuel, that's the, what we take as food and uh, uh, spends less. So there is a mismatch actually. If you want to, if our body has to be remain stable, it is to be like uh, balancing the amount of uh, energy consumption is sh should be equal to the energy output something like that. So you, uh, so the uh, man's uh, body structure will remain the same. But the problem with uh, uh, malnutrition is here the person consumes more and more uh, new, uh, nutrition, is a uh, fuel and how, but. Uh, uh, he spends less. So there is a significant amount of intake of uh, calorie that is energy and this whatever the more uh, whatever the carbohydrate, fat or protein you consume in excess of what you are spending everything will convert it into fat and uh, deposited in the body as uh, fat mo molecules. So the person becomes uh, obese in these settings. Uh, so uh, in, uh, what has happened is initially people used to walk a lot, uh, there was no, not much of uh, bus convenience, there, there was not much vehicle, everybody has to go to uh, some other places by walking most of the time. And uh, as we evolved, as we become industrialized, as we, the more and more motor mechanics have improved, uh, the human being has started uh, uh, decrease, he has decreased his uh, physical activity and hence we are getting this uh, obesity. Now coming to the fact that uh, what what are what could be the consequences of obesity. Obesity has lot of uh, deteriorating uh, effects in uh, it can lead into multiple uh, lifestyle diseases like uh, heart attack. Patient can have uh, increased uh, fat deposition in the heart uh, vessels and uh, there will be decreased uh, blood circulation to the heart and 
he can die of myocardial infarction that is in other ways known as heart attack person can have a similar thing in brain and that is known as stroke he can is a neurological uh, uh, disaster and the person can even develop diabetes and uh, especially females they are very prone to develop uh, polycystic ovarian disease uh, that is a part, uh, syndrome in which uh, oh, their ovum doesn't ovulate so and other diseases and uh, it is all uh, it, obviously it can also cause into lead into sorry uh, lead into hypertension uh, which is once again can augment the risk of uh, getting patient getting into stroke or heart attack and other things uh, so obesity can cause lead into multiple disorders and it uh, uh, this is of the medical disorder consequences and the social consequences like uh, patient uh, person may not be as attractive with it today uh, in today's world it is uh, me being slim and trim or fit uh, considered to be a healthy body type uh, whereas obesity actually is not considered so and uh, hence it is not attractive to the people and uh, so th there will be a lot of social stigma attached to these obese people uh, these are the social consequences of the obesity so how do you treat like how do you treat these patients why you want to you know now why you want to treat this patient and how do you treat what I feel is the most important part, the most important is uh, uh, the lifestyle modification. The person uh, can't be sitting, he can't be sitting always in the chair like that. He has to move around, uh, he has to walk. Uh, whenever there is an opportunity, if there is, in a, if, uh, I'll give an example, if there is a uh, place where, um, uh, place where there is a both staircase and a lift is there. So you should always use the staircase so that it is some opportunity to for you to do some physical exertion. And if you are traveling by public transport, always uh, uh, walk uh, walk till the next stop and catch a bus. Or when you are coming back, uh, get down at the earlier stop and walk till your place so that you will have some opportunity for the exercise. And once again, uh, don't ever. Uh, sit in front of the computer or TV or some other media and start eating food because you know, what happens is you never know how much you are eating you will just concentrate eating on the TV and you are just eating and eating so this uh, one should not uh, eat while watching some television or something like that and apart from that uh, the person should have a uh, uh, healthy lifestyle he should incorporate that uh, uh, in his uh, daily schedule that every morning or evening he does some uh, uh, vigorous uh, physical activity so so as to keep this obesity at the bay and uh, other things are like nutrition many people tell us that uh, I will eat whatever I want to eat and uh, anyway I can burn it out well, let me tell you one thing this our body is like an engine something like uh, your bike or your two wheeler or four wheeler something like that uh, where you require fuel to run in the same manner, body needs fuel, that is our food. However, our body is much more efficient, energy efficient than from other engines we see around. So, you can see in India, if a rickshaw puller eats two roadies, he can actually pedal it for 20 kilometers with a parallel to one or two passengers in the back. So, that is the fuel efficiency of a human body. Human body is such an engine that it uh, maximizes the output. So, uh, whenever you think that uh, you will eat more and you will spare, uh, uh, burn it out, it is very, very difficult. You have to really, really, really slow. So, it is not today's life is so much uh, pre uh, everybody is pressed for some free time. I don't think so. You will be able to spend so much of time on burning it out. So, I think the best idea is to. Uh, cut down the uh, calories intake only so that you really don't really have to work hard uh, over work hard some amount of physical exertion I always advocate but uh, so if you cut down the intake itself you, need, you can cut down your uh, the amount of excess you wanted to do into this one so that is a, which is a very practical thing actually apart from that uh, what I would like to say is uh, 
uh, in exercise uh, you have uh, two types of exercise one is aerobic and aero aerobic and uh, aerobic exercise and uh, uh, this one uh, mother strengthening exercise both are important you can do both the uh, type of exercises and uh, as far as drugs are concerned i think i'm not very big fan of uh, medications so when you know the what's the cause of uh, this uh, problem that is uh, uh, nutrition uh, the lifestyle modification however some a lot of people do fail to do you know, get the, their lifestyle modification we where we advise uh, uh, some medications to reduce the obesity However, the problem is uh, there are many drugs who have come over the period of time uh, which uh, claim to and uh, found to be uh, efficacious in reducing body weight. However, what we found was uh, a lot of these drugs initially they are very successful. Everybody held it and it was withdrawn. Like uh, Rimonaband which you had, it was withdrawn because it used to cause uh, significant, it used to raise significant uh, uh, suicidal rate significantly in these uh, patients who are taking Romanovan and Sibutramine, uh, the present drug, uh, one of the present uh, two drugs uh, now recently in scout trial they had told that uh, it is not a good drug, it actually increases cardiovascular mortality in specific uh, type of patients where um, uh, heart attack rate will increase, stroke rate will increase because of these drugs and uh, right now what we have is the only stat which is not that efficacious however it is the only drug which is left to us now we have on uh, September 2010 uh, but it has some significant GI uh, side effects so what I mean to say is uh, uh, nutrition and lifestyle modification is much more cheaper and efficacious than these drugs however our last ditch uh, option which we give to our patients is uh, bariatric surgery which is quite uh, uh, effectively done uh, these days uh, so that could be an effect however you know how much uh, any bariatric surgery is a major uh, surgery and uh, complication associated can be sometimes fatal so still now my basic message which I want to convey through this uh, uh, video is uh, try to, uh, please have a healthy lifestyle and uh, healthy diet and never over it Okay, you can you over it in once in a week or something like that, but uh, really, really don't overdo it every day, every day. No comfort eating, no binge eating, no uh, junk food eating, daily. Once in a 15 days, okay, even I will drink some coke once in 15 days or 30 days. That is not, not going to cause any harm, but it is the daily routine. It's a daily food you can take. If you are taking daily regular food, some... Uh, uh, balanced diet every day. In the weekend, you can have some binge eating, some really large quantity of uh, junk food you can have. But uh, if you are start eating uh, uh, junk food or uh, uh, yeah, this one high calorie diet, uh, which is sold over the counter these days, uh, every day, and you eat uh, balanced diet once in a while, I don't think so. You are able to get rid of the obesity. So it is the main thing. The bottom line is uh, healthy lifestyle. Try to uh, practice it is very easy if you get into the rhythm of the lifestyle. If any further details, uh, I advise you to go to www.indianobesity.org uh, www for further details. And you can uh, reach me at the email ID given there. Thank you.